Holy nope. shit. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Today we're doing an operator guy on how to play as Cali in Rainbow Six Siege 2024. We're going to be talking all about Cali and how to rank up and win more matches, get more kills while playing Cali. Let's go. Got one primary. Not much to talk about here. You got the sniper rifle, able to put anyone down with one shot unless they have rook armor. So it's something to be uh, mindful of if you're playing in lower elo. All right. Then you have the secondaries. Honestly, there's only one solid choice, and that's this, which, you know, the uh, SPS. You have a scope on it. It's it's pretty decent. It has decent recoil. Like, if you have to get up close after, you know, using your sniper rifle for a couple, like a minute or two, this isn't a bad option if I get up in there. D75, you might be able to get away with it, but it's iron sights. And basically almost the same stats with more recoil there's not much of a reason to run that over this then you have claymores which definitely a nice pick if you are going to be you know wanting to focus on one angle then you breach charges if you have to all right now let's talk about cali's explosive lance she's going to have four of them they're going to be used to destroy castle barricades keep a barriers basically anything and honestly, another good use of them is like, you know, burning like ADSs or Omais. You get four of these, so don't really feel like, you know, you have to save them. You are going to have plenty throughout the round. So I'm opening this. Let's say a thermite opens up that wall, right? And there's an Azami barrier on that. I can just pull up the Azami barrier from here. And then I have long range of sight with a 12X scope. And all it takes is one shot in the center of the chest. They go down. You don't even know. You don't have to go for headshots with this gun. Don't bother. There's no point. Go for center of mass. So normal cross replacement. Cali cross replacement. Aim lower. Hit the center of mass shot. Like this is one of my favorite spots to use Cali. Which like this where you can really abuse the angle. Let's once you guys clear pillar, they can just go in and plant while you cover the door. They'll have to sprint by you, and you if you have a good enough shot. You're just gonna get a bunch of free kills. You're not gonna be able to push that slowly. And uh you don't, you don't really have to be too exposed. So the explosive lance is extremely useful. Because let's say this wall is reinforced right here. If I shoot a lance right there, it'll destroy any bandits, mutes, or anything in that radius. If there's a cade, you will have to find where the cade is and shoot the lance somewhat near it. So let's say the K claws like there. We'll have to shoot one closer to the K claw. Cali can counter any type of wall denial, but it's definitely not the best. It, it definitely will not leave a hole in a reinforced wall, but in a soft wall, it will leave a hole. But I mean, this leaves a bigger hole. Cali is kind of a tricky operator, so let's take you guys through a normal round as Cali. Let's say we're attacking basement on Chalet. I'll join big garage. Do whatever I have to do. Join around, join around everything i'll check long angles with my sniper but as i go in i am going to swap to the secondary this gun is very stable and you will be able to win firefights pretty easily with this gun so don't feel like you just have to rely on the sniper rifle but when i have to check pixels i will bring the rifle back out check the angles we'll push up we'll have an ace or a hibana or hell even a thermite the wall i can just destroy it with an explosive lens any meat jammers bandits whatever's on that wall if it doesn't get the k claw i'll shoot one there top left top right i'll still have one left over for an azami or something you know definitely get the k claw off that wall you can open up the wall i'll have range of line of sight get a couple kills and as we push forward people are starting to drop i can just push over 
All it takes is one shot, which I'll show you guys in some gameplay clips. Zombie's pretty simple and straightforward. Basically, you're playing around a breach. You're like attacking the site direct and just trying to pick people off. So let's go through some Cali gameplay now. Show you guys why Cali is good. So here we see some droning. Teammate goes in and he dies. I saw one prone. Keep the guy prone. Not too hard with a quick little jiggle peek. Oh jiggle peeks are your friend when you're using this rifle. Pull an angle now. It's crazy. I think someone, I heard someone to my right. He tries to run. Not enough. Now we hold here for a bit. Bolt's trying to fight me. Get a little crazy. Run inside. I pull up my secondary as I approach. I pull my rifle back out. Rifles would use primarily when you're like holding an angle or just fighting one angle at a time. Because it is so dang good at just wiping somebody away. One of the reasons why I love Cali is think of Cali kind of like a more aggressive Blackbeard. Yeah, you you will get shot in the head. But you're that the aim required for that is not that hard. I'm just aiming for center of chest, waiting for them to swing and then just hitting them square in the chest. And they're instantly killed. Then a zombie on my left, I can destroy it any second. We do take out the pulse. Not too crazy. The guy says, why did I pick that? Exactly. Destroying, destroying the zombie and I destroy the barbed wire as well with the explosive lens. I didn't know that at the time, but destroy it. There's one more to the right. We take him out. We walk in and win the round. All right, now let's go through a 1v5 when I was a one shot. So we almost died. We have a sliver of health you can see at the top, and it is a 1v5. Take him out. Be ready to shoot every time you swing. You take down two. They are throwing a little bit, but that does, tends to happen in a 1v5. Pretty off. The guy runs out, realizes uh, that's not going to work. We take him out as well. Now, 1v5, straight to a 1v2. So here, he is zombies. I made it twice and back up because I know the impacts are coming. Look at my health. If I go for that third impact, that was the third melee, that impact is going to eat me in the face. But back up, we missed a shot there. Man runs. Peek the angle. I re peeks and he dies. And the guy's repositioning because he's realizing he's not really in a good spot there. And we take him out. Honestly, nothing here really requires in point precision aim. It's really just. Waiting for them to swing into the angle I'm holding, aim center of mass, and then you just blow them away. Three armors, though, sometimes they aren't going to uh, go down instantly. You are going to have to finish them off, but you no, know, I'll take a free down. I'm running out again. Just so satisfying getting a sniper rifle kill. <laughs> That's it today for Cali. Honestly, simple, straightforward operator. If you are using her for wall denial, like you know, destruction, you you are going to have to kind of drone if it's not, if it is a K claw, but if it's a banner or mute, instantly off, no problem. Just aim them low. They will be able to trick on the other side, but you can just keep destroying them. But be careful because you will destroy any hard breaching utility on that wall if your ability is going off. If your lance is going off on the wall, it will destroy or attacker utility um yeah kind of simple straightforward honestly her being able to help open up a wall is awesome because it's all about the sniper rifle baby that's all i gotta really tell you like yeah like the go-to sniper in siege is glass but his gun is half the damage of cali's and this is not like a one shot you're dead gun he's more of a thermal sniper like you know using smokes or whatever G will put people down. You'll see a lot of decent players using Cali and actually kind of wiping your team. And no one's really going to understand why, because on paper, she's kind of a garbage operator, but her killing potential is extremely high when she's positioned correctly with someone that can really aim their gun. That's it for today. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like down below for more. And let me know what operator you guys want to see next time. Peace out.